Welcome to our lecture online. On the previous video, you may have wondered, what in the world is he doing? I don't understand. Well, here's a second example, almost just like it. And after a couple more examples, I think you'll get the hang of how to use synthetic division to solve something like this. Notice in the denominator, it's x squared minus x. Ooh, and the constant term is missing. And remember what we always need to do, if there's a term that is missing, we need to have a placeholder. All right, so we're going to set it up for synthetic division. We take the coefficients of the numerator, and that becomes a 1, a negative 2, a 2, a 1, and a negative 1. Then we draw the line here, we draw the line over here, and on the left side, we need to have the numbers here with the sign change. So the negative 1 becomes a positive 1, and then we have a 0 there, we, because we have a missing term. The constant term is missing, so we have to have a 0 there as well. We have to have the two numbers because we start with x squared. That means we need to have the coefficients of both of these terms, even when the term is missing. The rest is exactly the same. We drop the first number down. 1 times 1 is 1, and 0 times 1 is 0. Then you add those two together, so that becomes a negative 1, and this becomes a 2. Now what you do is you draw another line. You bring those two numbers down, 1 and negative 1, and cut it off over here, you bring the next number down, negative 1. And so now you go 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, and 0 times negative 1 is 0. Now we add these two numbers together, so this becomes a 1, this becomes a 1, and you drop down the next number, negative 1, and then again you cut it off over here, draw another line, and drop the next number down, 1. 1 times 1 is 1, 0 times 1 is 0, add the 2 together, you get 2, you get negative 1, and we're done, because now all the numbers are taken care of, and here, notice that we have a remainder. If we now bring the other numbers down, we had a 1 there and a negative 1 there, this is our solution right here, but what does it look like? Well, in the numerator, we had an x to the fourth, we had an x cubed, we had an x squared, an x to the first power, an x to the zero power, and we divided that by x squared. So x to the fourth power divided by x squared gives me an x squared. That means the first term here is an x squared. This is an x, and this is an x to the zero power, x to the first power. So what do we have left? We have left the following. We have x squared plus x uh, plus 1x. Um, oh, no, minus x because there's a minus here. So x squared minus x and plus 1. With a remainder, hmm, what does the remainder represent? Well, the remainder represents a 2x minus 1 over the denominator. So that would be plus 2x minus 1 over the denominator of x squared minus x. And so this here is the total solution of our division. In this case, notice we had a missing term that we have to account for and we have a remainder that we need to account for. And so that is how we then come up with the final answer. These represent the coefficients of x squared x and x to the zero. These are the coefficients of x and, uh, and the constant over the denominator x squared minus x. And that is how it's done.